Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, but it would really, really help me in where I am trying to get my channel to go and to be. Of course, we're all trying to build. So if you would, that would be fantastic. If not, not to worry. Let's move on. Today we are looking at the hair food uh, range, one of the ranges, this one is for repairing, and that is by Garnier, it's Ultimate Blends, and this is the Papaya range. So this is the hair mask which we're going to be looking at today, and we are going to be looking at the shampoo and the conditioner. Just the way I've got my camera here and my light, you may not see so clearly, but hopefully you can. So shampoo, conditioner, and the hair food here. So I said hair food. This is the hair mask. So it's a three in one sort of treatment, which we're going to have a look at uh, throughout the clip today. But I just want to start with, for example, um, I have recently done one for fine hair, which is for plumping. Um, now, I have tried several of the three in one sort of hair food masks. I've tried several of these. In fact, in total, I've tried four. I think I've tried the, the coconut one for frizzy and unruly hair. I have tried the Banana, the banana for, I can't quite remember if that was for normal hair or for dry hair. I've tried this one for the repairing and I've tried the pomegranate for the plumping. I'll be honest, right up, this is very, very good, but the plumping one is my ultimate favourite with the watermelon and the pomegranate for plumping fine hair. As you can see, I've got lots of hair, but it's fine. Um, so one of my first tips is always go for the hair, uh, the product aimed at your hair type. So damaged for me, why have I got this damaged one? Well, as you can see, I've got highlighted hair and I use heat on my hair very, very often. So this is why I've got this range. Ultimately, this is very good. I didn't like the coconut one for unruly and frizzy hair. I didn't like that one. Didn't like the banana one, be very honest. Good products, but didn't like them. Um, love the watermelon and pomegranate one. And I love this one here. But for me, the watermelon and pomegranate just has those few sort of extra golden steps, golden miles on it. So let's start with the shampoo. Now I have actually only used the shampoo around five times as you can see it's probably about here on the bottle so I've used this here so not loads. I do find though that you don't need to use very much for it at all and what I always find one of the things which I do find a little bit strange with Garnier Ultimate Blends is that it seems to lava so extensively and with that you would think there would be lots of sort of artificial things in there but it appears not. Um, I never find that it gives me an irritated scalp. I never find that it gives me, um, very often if I use a product which doesn't agree with me, I find that it gives me a bit of an irritated nape of my neck or around in my hairline. I don't get that from these products at all, from the 3-in-1 hair food and from the shampoo and the conditioner. I don't get that at all. Um, but what I do find is you get a real extensive lather, but therefore that means as well that you don't need to use so much. The shampoo in itself smells incredible. It really, really does. What I find myself doing is mixing, um, mixing them up and matching them with the ones from the different range. For example, I've got the plumping shampoo, conditioner, ultimate blends, hair food um, and the mask as well. So very often I may use the sh shampoo, um, but then I may, which is the lifting and the plumping. And then I may go on and use the repairing conditioner, which you can see from the bottle. There's a lot more gone from this. In fact, I think about half of that's almost gone, whereas the shampoo, I haven't really used that much from it at all but I've used it, I'd say, about five times to try to work out. Um, ultimately, it works very, very well. Um, I always question a damaging or repairing sort of shampoo because, of course, you're washing nutrients out of the hair, but how does it make the hair feel? I'll be very honest, for a repairing shampoo, I would expect a little more. It's very good at uh, making the hair feel really healthy, really sort of, um, I'm not going to say sleek because it doesn't make the hair feel sleek. It still makes the hair feel a little bit coarse but it does look after the hair um it's got an amazing smell it's 98 percent origin of ingredients which is great it's repairing hair food papaya and coconut um it cleanses repairs with no way down it's a recyclable bottle there's no silicones in here for a natural feel and it's for damaged hair i feel that it makes my hair feel a little bit coarse and actually that i could do a little bit more of a nourishing shampoo whereas the plumping shampoo from the gunny ultimate blends uh blends rather hair food is really really cool it's really really awesome on the hair makes it feel really really nice whereas the shampoo is just a little bit more needs a little bit more nourishment behind it still a very good product still a very good range but i imagine if you're a woman watching this you've got that real glamorous flowing hair you need a bit more nourishment in there don't forget i've only got short fine hair um and I just found I could do a little bit more from the shampoo. That's probably why I haven't used it as much. But it's still a very good product. It is nourishing, but not as nourishing as what we would expect from the packaging and what it tells us. 
let's tell you a little bit more about what it says on the back. So, Ultimate Blends creates its first vegan, 98% natural origin hair shampoo. Its light foam generally cleanses and nourishes hair, which it does, with no weigh down, which it does as well, for intensely nourished, healthy looking hair as if repaired. I don't agree with that it's intensely nourished, um, intensely repaired. Um, for me, it needs a little bit more nourishment in here, but still a very good all round product. And how to use it as usual, squeeze, lather and rinse thoroughly. So in the back here, as you can see, you've got a list of products here. So you've got the sciency names here and then you've got the breakdown here. Um, and then on the back, I just run through. So you've got lots of sciency names. But for example, things which we automatically understand from the consumer from the high street is you've got several products. You've got the purified water. Then you've got something, uh, several from a botanical origin. Then you've got the papaya. Then you've got the coconut oil. Then you've got a few more from botanical origin. Then again, botanical origin and botanical origin right the way down through the bottom. And then it's got here our formula is made with 98% natural origin ingredients. The remaining 2% indicated are ensured of good preservation and sensor. I think that's it's very small and I haven't got my glasses on. So I think that says sensor, sensory. I'm going to say <laughs> that it's sensed from a good background that it's responsibly sourced and of course which is great because of course I want my children's children's children to have the planet which we still live in this amazing planet we live on I want my children children's children to be able to enjoy that it's okay buying a packaging but then after you finish this you throw it away what happens to it it's made from plastic. You want to know that the company has good origins of being able to get that plastic to us. You don't want to know that the world has had all these sort of deprimant and all sorts of nasty things that's had to happen for us to be able to receive this product. So it's great to know that Garnier really, really do look after the packaging and their products. Um, and it's great to know that they are of a natural blend as well. So of course, all these things are reducing our footprint on the world and we are being responsible as consumers and responsible in our choice of product, which is great. And I really, really love to do that as well for, as I say, I want my children's children children to have this amazing planet which we live in. So let's move on. Like the shampoo, don't love it, but it's still very, very good. That's the one here. Let's move on. As I said, I've used that about five times, by the way. Each time I've liked it, but I just wanted a little bit more from it. The conditioner, on the other hand, is pretty damn amazing. Um, I'm you probably can tell I prefer it from the shampoo. In fact, I use the plumping uh pomegranate watermelon uh shampoo because i really really like that from the range and then the conditioner because of the nourishment is really super nourishing i absolutely love this so goni ultimate blends it's 98 percent in natural origin it's repairing hair food uh papaya and coconut conditioner detangles repairs and it's a fast rinse which i really like because if you want that nourishment in your hair very often whether you're a man or woman you've got to have that conditioner on your hair a little bit longer who's got time for that if you're working from home i haven't particularly been very well lately with vertigo unfortunately nasty nasty subject don't want to go there thank you very much so i haven't been able to bend my head in certain ways at all to be able to condition my hair so something like this where you don't have to keep on your hair very long and it still nourishes the hair is amazing so very very good for that as well so let's tell you a little bit about it on the back so very similar to the shampoo Ultimate Blends creates its first vegan 98% natural origin hair food conditioner at its ultra melting and lightweight texture instantly absorbs to nourish, quickly detangle and rinse. For intensely nourished, which I agree with on this time, healthy looking hair, also I agree, as if required. How to use, as usual, after shampoo, squeeze, massage into wet hair and rinse thoroughly. And this has an amazing smell again. It smells, if you know what papaya smells like, it smells like papaya and it certainly does smell of coconut as well. So it's lovely. And then on the back here, we've got the science ingredients on the side. And then we've got the trans uh, sort of consumer, sort of human as to speak. Um, I always say, if you're picking up that product, you want to know off the shelf, you want to know what's in that product. So it's great to know that. So you've got the purified water and you've got the protonical origin of certain uh, products in here as well. Then you've got sunflower, you've got papaya, you've got coconut oil, uh, several other things of protonical origin. Then you've got the guava bean, and then you've got the rest of the products on here of botanical origin as well. On the bottom here, we've got our formula is made with 98% natural origin ingredients. The remaining 2% is indicated with good preservation. And of course, having that sense of a good, well looked after background of other product and the packaging has come from as well, which again is fantastic. So this really, really like this, they're 350 mil, conditioner 350 mil and the shampoos as well. Currently it's on offer. Please don't quote me on that because time you buy this, whether you're in the UK, in the US or wherever you're watching this, it would have probably have changed. So for me, I paid £3 each for the shampoo and the conditioner, and then for the hair mask, 
which we're going to go on to in a moment, the three in one mask, I paid £3.50. I have seen this at a varying price, £4 each, sometimes a little bit higher. Boots currently here in the UK, two for £8 on the shampoo and the conditioner. And Superdrug, it was, uh, I believe it was three for two, those sort of offers, which we're very used to here in the UK. So price does vary, so always do your research on that as well. Let's move on to the Ultimate Blends Repairing Hair Food, Papaya and Alma. So this here, three-in-one hair mask for damaged hair. So by the way, just want to pick up on that conditioner, damaged hair. So damaged hair can be aging hair. Aging hair can be coarse. It can be dry. It can lose its colour. Grey hair has a harsh, um, a bit more of a harsher texture than what soft, natural sort of growing hair can be as well. Grey hair can be super soft to the point of having no volume um, and then of course you're having to use a lot more heat to style it for example as well men's hair if you're using heat in your hair blow dryer it all needs nourishment so for example this range is going to be really suited to you if you're using heat um, whether you're young if you're a little bit older if you've got gray hair some gray hair can be super soft and downy some gray hair can be really really coarse and hold its own body this is going to be great for that as well for men's hair if you use a lot of a uh, lot of product, a lot of hairspray, a lot of putties, a lot of waxes. They can be quite harsh on the hair, quite sort of tating on the natural characteristics of the hair as well. It can make the hair quite dull. This is going to be great for that, the nourishment as well. If you're a woman watching this and you've got that long flowing, really amazing, glamorous, gorgeous looking hair with the, with the waves and the straight hair and what have you. Perhaps it's blonde, perhaps it's coloured. It needs that nourishment. So this range is going to be great for you as well. Let's move on to the three in one mask, which is 98% origin of natural ingredients, which is great. The other 2%, as we have established, altogether now is natural, sort of the good preservation behind it as well, because of course we want this by as long as possible for our families, children's children's children. Okay, so you can use this as a conditioner, you can use this as a leave in mask for a couple of minutes to give you that ultimate nourishment, or you can leave it in as a sort of dry, sort of touch in, I don't know, as a leave in formula. They all work very, very well. The damage one I do find, if you use it even a little tiny bit in leave-in of dry hair, I find it makes the hair quite flat and heavy. Now that may well be because I've got fine textured hair. The plumping one, however, amazing. All three ways of a conditioner, a mask and a leave-in. Perfect, really lifting that hair. For me, for damaged, I've got the blonde sort of highlights here. They've grown out throughout lockdown, but I think they look super cool still. Um, works really, really well. Conditioner, just that extra added nourishment works really, really well. Um, this has been in my family bathroom as well. I know my mum who has waist length coloured hair, loves this, fine, but loads and loads of hair, loves this. I've had a brother uh, as well use this and really, really like this as well. Um, it's vegan. It's 96% biodegradable formula. Yes, it's dermatologically tested. Yes to plant oils and no to silicones for a natural feel. Um, just tell a little bit more about it. So we have got on here the list of sciencey ingredients here, then by the side of consumer sort of Joe blogs, pick it up off the shelf in the street, knowing what it is. So we've got purified water, we've got several products from Britannica Origin, we've got soybean in here, we've got sunflower, we've got papaya, we've got alma, we've got coconut, and then the rest of the products are by Britannica Origin. You've got 390 mil here as well, so it's going to last you quite a while, which is really, really good. Um, and as I say, I'll just run through how it says to use it. So number one, as a conditioner. So on wet hair to instantly detangle, leave hair looking beautifully healthy as if repaired without weighing down. Completely agree. It works fantastic for that. As a mask, on wet hair, leave for three minutes. I leave it for about five, ten minutes if I'm in the shower and in the bath. Um, leave out uh, when you rinse out, uh, leaves hair feeling intensely nourished and as if restored. And it ultimately does do that. I've tried all, um, I haven't tried the aloe vera one, which I may try in the future, but I have tried the coconut one for unruly hair, um, which didn't like, to be very honest, you want honesty on my channel, didn't like it, hated it to be quite honest with you, um, good product, I can respect that, but didn't like it, the banana food one, didn't like it, again, personally not my choice at all, but the pomegranate and watermelon and plumping one, that is my favourite, I will be clear, hold my hands up, I love a product for fine hair, and I thought that was really, really cool, so thumbs up for that one. This one I really, really like, but just a little bit heavy. So if you've got fine hair and you're watching this, just be careful. Yes, you want that nourishment, but you don't want your hair so it's stuck on your, your head <laughs> at all, um, which my hair admittedly looked a little bit like it did then. Um, perfect for men's and women's hair, perfect for in your family bathroom, 
perfect for just if you want that ultimate nourishment in your hair as well. But I urge you, have a look at the plumping one and the plumping range, pomegranate and watermelon, because that's really, really cool. Um, awesome on the hair for creating that lift and that nourishment in the hair as well. Finally, as a leave-in, on wet or dry hair, apply a small amount to lengths to reduce the appearance of split ends and leave-in intensively soft treatments. For me, that was just a little bit too heavy. So for me, it literally did look like that. Not a good look at all, um, but really liked it and I would certainly recommend it. So ultimately, we've looked all through the shampoo, the conditioner and the hair mask. Least favourite would be the shampoo. As you can see, it's not hardly gone. I've used it five times now, kind of left it. I will come back to it because it is a great product, but conditioner, absolutely love. Really nourishing on the hair and the mask itself. Really, really like that as well. But sorry, the plumping pomegranate and watermelon one is my overall favourite. I really hope you've taken away from, uh, taken lots away from the review which we've done here. Lastly, I just want to show you because I have straightened my hair today. I say that I've got fine hair. A lot of my hairstyles are smoke and mirrors tricks because it is actually finer than what you think. Just got a brush here. I'm just going to pass a brush through very quickly. One thing what this range does do, I've used the shampoo and the conditioner today, it does give a really nice shine. So as you can see, it gives a really nice shine on the hair. There isn't any product in it. And you can see it does make the hair really nice, really shiny. And on this side, you can see that it gives a really nice shine as well. Men and women both want to look great. This is a range which will do that for you. I really, really hope you've enjoyed that. Until next time, when we will be hopefully bringing you new products. I had a bit of a break through ill health at the moment, but um, we're getting back onto top form, I can assure you. So until next time, stay safe, stay well, and we will see you then. Thanks very much. Bye-bye now.